Five ways to get a legendary item if you're free to play. Let's get going. Number one, the Hilt Trader. If you go to the Hilt Trader here and you look, you can weekly purchase a legendary item. I'm gonna go ahead and do my purchase now. Let's see what I get. I got a chest plate. Uh, I'm not sure which chest plate that was, but maybe it's a good one. I don't know, we'll find out, okay? If you're in the more though, you get another legendary item. So that is two of them. The limited time will have other offers, but not legendary offers. And then there's another way that you can get free to play uh, legendary items as well. Number two, rarities and antiquities, and techwities, antiquities, whatever you want to say. Right here, you can actually buy items, and you can, in fact, drop legendary items here. It takes gold. I have gambled all my gold on these items, and I have got legendary items before. So that is one such way to do it. There was some confusion saying you can't get it, but yes, you absolutely can get legendary items from here. Hit rank 10 in the battle pass. Battle pass, I thought this was free to play. It is free to play. The free to play get the free version of the battle pass and the legendary is within the free version of the battle pass. So if you're just starting the game now, you unlock the battle pass right around level 16 or so in the game. And at that point, you'll be able to slowly start advancing the battle pass. The best way to do this is by going to codex and then going to activities and doing your 2X, you'll get bonus points for doing your activities. You can also do bounties, battlegrounds, or any dungeon or activity that really you enjoy. You also get large chunks of experience by doing this. Join a war band. War bands are something that anyone can do. It gives you access to legendary drops accessible from all eight people. There's items I'm using, check this out. I've got a necklace I can use early in the game because somebody got this in the war band. This cost me absolutely nothing to get. This is a very free to play viable strategy. Look, here's another one that I could equip if I really want to. Here's another one I could equip. These are all free items. You can also get legendaries from farming literally any of the dungeons. And in fact, some of the dungeons will have bonus drop rates. So if you're trying to farm legendaries and set items because you're in hell one, for instance, and you want to advance your battle pass so that you can get the more experience, then what you can do is just go to the dungeon, for instance, Temple of uh, Namory. I don't know how to pronounce that, or Cavern of Echoes, I know how to pronounce that one. And it's currently bonus drop rates, and you can just repeat these over and over and over again. You get legendary items, set items. You also get the battle pass experience. Different challenge rift tiers can have different rewards. You can get legendary quality gear in challenge rifts. My first legendary helmet I got from a challenge rift completion. So don't sleep on completing some if you haven't pushed it all in the challenge rifts. Plus you have to complete challenge rift 10 anyway in order to unlock the sanctum, which is a huge portion of your, uh, your strength basically in this game and daily rewards. The Bestuary is actually crazy. Collecting Monster Essence, which is these like little orange orbs that you're gonna see, eventually will give you uh, 10 of them and then you can turn in 10 at the Bestuary in order to get rewards. This very often can drop you legendary items and I've got a ton of upgrades from just doing this. How is the quickest way you can do this or what's the quickest way? Just go to the overworld anywhere that you have bounties. For instance, I have bounties, which is gonna lead us into our next point. Just go farm your bounties, which will double down on all of this. And then while you're doing the bounties, you're also gonna see, occasionally you're gonna see a monster that's orange on your map. If you see an orange monster, they have a, a much higher chance to drop a legendary than basically killing any other creature in the game. So kill them and you can get legendaries from farming those as well. So you can do some pretty efficient grinding of legendaries all at the same time. Joining the Shadow Clan and doing your Shadow Contracts can give you really good rewards. The Shadow Contracts can drop legendaries themselves and also give big chunks of experience. So I highly recommend getting inside of a Shadow Clan as soon as you possibly can. This is located in West March right here. You just have to go through the Shadow Lottery. And I do in another video have that covered previously on my channel, how to do that. If this video helped at all or you learned one new thing, consider subscribing or liking the video. If subscribing is too much and you still want to help me out, love y'all. Thanks for watching. See you on the next guide.